Okay, here we have star fruit. We have a tree, but how do you know when they're ripe? You can guess, after all, you can see them grow and change their color over time. But which, which are best? So that's our test today. So I picked a bunch, different colors, different greens. Here's a couple that I picked a couple days ago that have been ripening. So I have a stretch here, really ripe, apparently, and uh, to lesser ripe. According to the produce guy on YouTube, something about this with the green edges in here is still uh, is ripe and ready to go. I'm suspecting he means a little more like this one than this one, a little richer yellow in here. But there we go. So let's cut them and try them. These are completely edible. The skin, you don't have to peel them. Some of these dark edges, you can just cut away if you don't like it, like, like the look of it. Let's trim them up. They make beautiful little stars. Of course, I trimmed those so they're not as perfect stars. And they have just a few seeds. You can just pop those out. No big deal. So apparently, the story is that these have a lot of vitamin C and antioxidants. I will have to assume that that is a true statement. I didn't do any research on the matter. And they taste kind of perish. They're very non-sweet. Almost like an orange that's been sitting too long. It's kind of dried out a little bit. You can still taste the orange, but it's really not much to it. Okay, so here's our test tape. Test test. Start with the ripe. So it's actually really tasty. It's ripe, um, it's juicy, tangy, kind of eating like a uh, starburst. Ah, oh, funny thing. All right, so I'm going to go over here at this end, try the one that's really less yellow. So that's almost like eating an apple. It's actually like a green apple, Granny Smith or something. A little tangy, got a, quite a crisp to it. Hmm. So they're both good, just different. All right, so then we'll go back over here. Just about the same as the first one. Maybe it is a little on the ripe side. Juicy, really juicy. You couldn't really let it go much longer. All right, let's try this one. Hmm. So again, the apple. Still have green edges, but mostly kind of a deep orange in here, not the little bit pale or yellow here. That's actually pretty good. So this one I think is kind of in the middle really has barely any green edges anymore but still kind of on the lighter yellow whoo that one was tangy hmm interesting how about this one I almost think I have to go with this one, but let me try a different piece of it. Hmm. 
well, okay, they're all different. Go figure. So, the most ripe one is juicy. Couldn't couldn't last much longer. Nice and tasty, um, and a fuller taste, if you can say that. More full. I don't think fuller is actually a word. This one, for whatever reason, which I kind of thought maybe it must be the perfect one, it's pretty tart, but it could just be this one. But I don't have another one that's quite that coloring. This one is pretty good, um, I have to say. So, a little bit of browning, a little bit of green still. Crispy, light tang, kind of like a Granny Smith. Not a Pippin, I don't think. Not quite as tart as that. And then this one, definitely crispy, like a good apple or a pear, perhaps. A green pear. And there you have it. Starfruit.